Hey everyone, so I think I'm gonna load this up as an Instagram video, but here, it's finally my turn. I've watched a couple of cloth and paper unboxings for the month of April. Now it's my turn, guys. All right. So I've been eyeing this card and I really like how it looks. And I really like the way that it feels. It has an interesting texture on one side and then like a smooth texture on the back. Um, and I think someone had mentioned that these were in the last box. I didn't get one. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm not sure what that was about. Um, unless it just started for this month. This one, you can make anything by writing. I have this already in my A5. And this is what you use for like a pen test. A what's inside card. I don't think I got this last time either. I don't know. That's Maybe that's something new. Maybe. So everything's always nice and neatly packed. And I really like the sticker. This is, I think this is one of her... Um, like the same image as one of her dashboards. Okay, so I'm going to scoot off to the side, start with um, just a look at the pens. So this is interesting. She ended up putting the pens on the outside of the pouch because last time the pens were in the pouch. So the pens on the outside of the pouch and that's kind of nice because it gives you the opportunity to use the pouch for something else. So I will get into that in a second. A message pad which is nice. These are, I think these would be useful if you know you write something down and then you want to stick it into your planner. So let's open that up. And they are not sticky on the back, so they're just, just tear it off. All right, so we get some mauve dots and these are circles. Oh, and I think you get some others. Let's see. Okay, so you get the dots, the hexagons, the squares, the tape, and then the corners. This is nice because I haven't purchased any of her stickers yet. So this is, these are gonna come in handy. Let's put it there. Now, okay, some sticky notes, which is nice. I think they kind of match together. So um, this is nice. I think these are, this is a 50 quantity and these are always good to have. We have a vellum half sheet. So it says morning mindset and it has different things to think about, um, six different things to think about. And I think that's cool. I haven't seen any half sheets that are in vellum. Then we have recommendations. This is all for an A5 binder. So to watch, to read, to make, to listen. And I think this will be helpful because I use my A5 binder for my shop. So sometimes I, um, you know, I'm on Instagram, I'm on YouTube, and just to be able to have a place to write down some people who inspire you um, is nice, or things you want to be able to do um, is good to have as well. Some more of these half sheets, and this is with the gray. Oh yay, inbox. Okay, so I, don't, I haven't purchased an inbox from the site for an A5, so it's nice that she 
included one for this month. And then, whoa, we have this. All right, so this is interesting. It is, I think, yeah, just like a tear off tablet of papers for the whole week. Um, this is nice to have if you didn't have a binder. <laughs> But I have a binder, so I don't know how to use this. I'd rather have all this information in my in my binder. So maybe what I could do is tear off the sheet, fold it in half, punch this side, and use it in my binder. So that I'm gonna try. So that's pretty much all that came into this box quite a lot actually some different things at least for me things I haven't tried yet so I'm gonna scoot these aside and I want to get into my pen box so we all know I love pens because I do I think I've loved pens ever since I was in uh, middle school. Um, I would always be like very particular with the pens I wrote with. Most of the pens I wrote with in middle school I think were like Pentel, um, Pentel pens. So yeah, this is, let's see, I get excited. Um, and then you get this really nice envelope. With the last envelope, I actually decided to hole punch it and put it into my A5. I think I'm gonna save this one for possibly the same thing, but I'm not gonna hole punch it hole punch it just yet. I do want to I do have something coming, another A5 binder custom, and um, I hope that, that binder will have a lot more room for me to work with. The one I have here is um, just like an insert binder I put in here and it works, but I'm already at like max capacity here, which makes sense. I mean, it's actually a good size for this cover because I don't think you were, you're really supposed to put a binder in this cover. Um, so it doesn't like bulge it out or anything like that. It keeps its structure and um, doesn't force it. But with my new one, I, I'm gonna try to get the 35 millimeter rings and so that I could put everything in there, including pockets and things like this. So that is the goal. But let me do the pen test on here. So first things first, let's see. Did she include What's inside? No, so she doesn't have the what's inside for the pens. So I'm just gonna have to look it up. Let's see, we have this purple pen. It's a click pen. It's a really light purple and it does have a little gummy thing on it. So it's probably a gel pen. It doesn't say anything but that it's 0 0.55 millimeters and it's by M and G. It's the only brand name I can see on here. The cool thing is that it has this like really nice grippy part. I feel like this is supposed to massage your fingers while you're writing. So I'm just gonna call this the, oh, black ink. And at night, it writes nicely. This is very comfortable. I like this one. Okay. So a yellow pen, I think this is gonna be yellow ink. I 
think it is because the last month's box had a peach colored pen which is it actually wrote really nicely let's see yellow oh nope this is also black and it's called caco green 0 0.5 millimeters and it has a really interesting feel this material is like really soft and almost it's hard to describe it's not it doesn't feel like plastic it has like some type of coating over it that makes it feel really interesting okay smart gel 0 0.7 i hope this is black ink because the color is not one of my favorites. Um, let's just say light, oh, okay. Light brown. And it looks pretty similar to the color of the grip and the top clicky portion. 0 0.7 millimeters. I don't know. It might grow on me. It does it does write okay. Okay, so let's see, a teal-ish color. This one's called Shan's Color Gel. And it is in the 0.5. Oh, and the grip is clear. It's actually it has some it's not too firm. So it seems like over time it'll be comfortable. Um, I'll just call it teal. Okay, so this one is teal. And I don't know about this one. This one is kind of hard to write with. And I realized that my yellow pen, I didn't even finish it off. I think almost any gel pen that's in this color would be hard to, hard to write with. Okay, this one's interesting. It's not a click pen. This one is called Snow White color free ink roller and it's from China. Ooh, this is very, very tiny. Okay, so this is a 0 0.38 millimeter tip. Let's see if it's purple. Um, ooh. All right, so this is gonna be fun. Definitely gonna use these in my A5 planner. I really, really like the first two and then the purple one. I'm just not a fan of this light brown. And then the teal pen, it did take a little bit um, of just, it didn't write really well off the, t off the back. Kind of had to go over the line a couple of times plus it's so light i don't think it would be good to use this as a daily writer anyway more for maybe like accent color but yeah so these are the pens and then this was everything else and i am excited to jump into this all right I hope you guys found this interesting and I'll catch you next video. Bye.